So, anyways, uh, now that uh, the now that the boards are gone, that's right. The swords are gonna play. Woo woo. And that uh, you want to talk uh, Force and Destiny first? Or you want to talk uh, Doctor Who? Uh, let's uh, let's talk Doctor Who let's first. Let's go Doctor Who. Doctor Who. All right. So this is da, 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 there is that is that right side up. That is right, right side there up. There we go. This is Doctor Who Time of the Daleks board game. Uh, this was uh, um, my compensation for helping out Gale Force Nine during Gen Con. Yep. Uh, great company, great people. Hey, along with Tyrants of the Underdark. Along with Tyrants of the Underdark, uh, another open like took the plastic wrap off the box on that. That was all I did. <laughs> all right, this one I actually took the plastic wrap off the box a little bit and looked at the instruction book. Um, this is, it looks rather, rather good. <laughs> all right, that's all I got. The um. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Dave. It looks yeah, yeah. good. The um, the only the only issue I have right now. Is uh, these player boards here? Oh, those are, are really flimsy. It's just it's a piece of paper. That is, wait, let me see. It's a piece oh, of paper. Is, no, All right. come on. The, what's what's the uh, what's the insert you have where they made the upgraded boards that hold the little resource? Yes, yeah, scythe. Scythe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I was like. Or are you talking about Terra Mystica, where it was the actual insert was wood? Yes. Okay, that was Terra. Yeah, where, that the, was where the player Mars. boards became. Terraforming became. Mars. Okay. Yeah. So, um, hey, broken token. If you're looking for an idea, make those things. Mm. Oh, by the way, he said nice table. Thank you. I just fi we just finished this, so just put it in. Very good table. Um, I didn't read through a lot of all the. I didn't read through a lot of everything. Um, it was mostly just opening it, take a look at it. The one thing I will say, and I was telling you this, the mm -hmm. one thing I will say that I am extremely loving about this game is it is it's ready for the future. It is <laughs> It's a game about time travel. <laughs> so um, as as I'm flipping, I'm actually so, so just while we look at the player boards here. Okay. Um, so we've got uh, the eleventh Doctor here mm -hmm. with Amy Palm, and then we've got the twelfth Doctor, mm -hmm. and then we've got the fourth Doctor with a uh, Miss Sarah Jane Smith. <laughs> Wait, is there stuff on the other side? Oh, okay. It's just a. Is it a generic TARDIS or is it their TARDIS? Oh, it's the s no, it's it's the same for okay. all of them. And then we have the first Doctor with uh, uh, I know his granddaughter Sarah, but I don't know the two teachers that were the first companions. So okay. the nice gap, but so it's not just new Doctor Who, but not it's just also new the Doctor Who, the no. old stuff as well. So as I as I was flipping, uh, do do. Yeah. So as as I was flipping through, I came to this page here, and it is of. It's of the eleventh Doctor, all right. And one of the companions he has is Captain Jack, and it's uh, Captain Jack from Torchwood because the word Torchwood's right under his name. But then I started going through the front of the book, and the book made sure to point out that um, this game is expansion ready, because don't be shocked if you can't find your Captain Jack card. Because we didn't actually include him in this box. He's in a future expansion. We're going to have every single Doctor in the game. They're already planning on coming out with... I don't know if they're going to do every Doctor individually. Mm -hmm. All right, But, I mean, they could group him into like twos or threes or something like that. They're already planning for expansions for this game. Which, I'm happy when games do that. Yeah. They don't just... It's not something tacked on where it's like... Well, this game sold really well, so we should probably make something else for it. It's no, and actually, that was uh, so one of my favorite games, Scythe. Mm -hmm. That was actually a plan. It was like these are like they've said that they are. So they just released an expansion. They're like there is one more expansion that is still to come, and then that will be. Oh, okay. That's it. Like that's the complete game. Oh, now. so the, but now we got minis. So, so now, minis so in now, this game. so oh, there are minis. Okay, Chris is gonna love this game. Uh, right. There's I minis. I told you I was gonna love this all game. Right. First of all, it's Doctor Who, which. Yeah. Um, Chris, I, I do love. Oh, sweet! So we've got like. Do you need a towel? Because it's Doctor Who. Uh, you might need a towel. Okay. So we got a little. We got a little Daleks. Okay. You got. You got Daleks. And Exterminate. I, you also have yeah, some Tardises. Okay. Not only do you have that's Daleks. My that's my attempt at the Tardis noise. You have Davros. Oh, nice. Yeah. There, it, it's a mechanic with. The, yeah. He's like the last Dalek you put out. Yeah. Kind of cool. So we got your minis. We got your dice. Oh man, there's dice and all right. custom dice. This this hits Chris all over the place. Oh man, yep, he's all about um, this game. You're not taking this game home. <laughs> I'm taking this game home. <laughs> I cut you. Uh, and then there's actual minis for the doctors. Yep. 
So and they're custom, I think. They they look custom. They they are custom uh, custom yep. minis for the we doctors. Got, yep, that's definitely the uh the twelfth doctor there. Uh-huh. That's definitely the first one. Yep. I think this is what'd you say, the fourth? Uh yep, because that's Kay. eleven right there. Okay. And the dog. And the dog. K nine. I'm I'm trying to I, I didn't because I didn't read too much in the instructions. I don't know where the dog plays in. <laughs> <laughs> um but he's there. Yeah, and they got their snap bases, so you know. Oh, okay. Who's what, like what color? Which doctor is for which TARDIS? Ah, yeah. because they are just like the same model. That makes sense. I wouldn't need them to get that <laughs> detailed. To get that specific, yeah. There's Not on a blue box that the, there might be only small writing differences or something. Well, there's um. So the 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 new Doctor Who Christmas special that's coming out. Yeah. There's a one minute clip on Facebook about it. They steal the twelfth Doctor's TARDIS. Uh huh. And so it's like. Oh, we're not going into my... They, yeah, sure, they stole my TARDIS, but there's another TARDIS. It's like 100 feet that way. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, and he, the, g- the girl goes to get in, and she's like, the windows are different. <laughs> and then he jumps in, and he jumps back out. And jumps back in. Yeah, it's just like the detail around the windows are different or something. <laughs> yeah, like that would be the minor... All right, so what do we got? So, so what do we got here? Okay, these are tiles. So we mentioned there are dice. There are... Uh, there's... But like, let's see. It looks like uh, three red dice, three light blue dice, a dark blue dice, three green dice, and a bunch of black dice. So I'm guessing maybe the da. I don't know. The, what um, for. Well, I, uh, so in my read through, uh, the black dice are like your generic stuff, okay. and then the uh, colors are more specialized. Uh, that probably doesn't show up. I'm gonna we're gonna dump dice out. All right, dump a dice out. I don't know what that sound thud <laughs> thud thud thud. Yeah, uh, so then you there's a player. I guess that's yeah, so the. So this is uh, this is your main board. All right, you are. We got a couple planets on there. We got Gallifrey. We got Earth and Scaro. Yeah. So you're starting at. Uh, you're starting at 18 and working your way to one. Okay. All right, and that's there are dilemma tiles, which fit into these. Little notches on the side Ooh. of the board. Yep. Uh, when when you get to a certain point on the on the board, the dilemma activates, which then I believe the dilemma activates on a location, which then gets its own mm. dilemmas. So those would be like complications to the original dilemma, kind of yeah. right? That's yeah, like yeah, that's what it's look. That's what it's looking like. This is all right. Just we, remember, we, we this is all a complete look through. We haven't even, I mean, game turn. There, I read the instructions real quick. That's that's about yeah. as far as I've gotten. But it all, it all, the artwork looks amazing. The miniatures are amazing. It's using. I'm gonna say it's using screen caps. Okay, that makes sense. Like all these, this is, yeah, these are all screen caps from the shows. There's a oh yeah, uh, it's totally screen cap. There's a whatever the the Santarans. Yep. Yeah. You got the silence. Oh yeah, like these. these and it looks like there's some old ones because I don't like the boneless. I think that's an older villain. I don't recognize. I don't recognize that at all. I I honestly don't either. Gallifrey past. I mean, these are all. This looks wicked. Yeah. There's there's a whole lot going on here. And I'm pretty. I'm. I'm 100% certain we're gonna get a bunch of plays through this. <laughs> we would probably 10 by 10 this game alone. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? What is? It? Um, that is. So you have your Tardises. Uh huh. Tar- Tardises. Tardi. Tar- Tardisai. Tar- Tardisai. Tardi. Oh, is this like the the Dalek ship? That that's a Dalek warship. Yeah. Gotcha. And the. You. Yeah, because the Dalek Emperor had one that looked kind of like this. Yes. Um, what did I read? The Dalek starts on one side, and the TARDIS starts on the other side, and you're like Meet up moving, in the moving the opposite direction of each other. I think. Okay. I That's I a, really don't. Remember, but yeah, is, it's all in this there. Is this is initial all, glance. Yeah, though. this is initial glance. Like, I still want to know where the dog comes from. Where doesn't the dog come <laughs> in? <laughs> Everywhere. Everywhere. Oh, that's a little. That's gonna be a little weird. Those are gonna break. So on the on the player player markers there's oh okay nope these are rubber 
Oh, cool. All right, that's great. And oh, so are these. They're just a little. Ah, oh, that's more neat. Because usually it's just plastic. Yeah. Okay. So that's. Ah, that's good. Uh, see, I was just saying these tabs are gonna bust, but no, it's rubber, so it just pops right on. It'll be a little bit more durable. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's great. I think I like the way that Cool Mini or Not does them, where they snap on and they're plastic. They don't need the tabs per uh -huh. se. Um, but yeah, that the rubber yeah works. Yeah, this is yeah these these are all these are all really well done. I don't know, I don't know if I want to paint them. There probably are some people who would go out there and yeah. Well, these are nice enough that I don't think you need to paint them because if you paint them, they're just gonna especially if we paint them. Oh yeah, if we paint them, <laughs> they ain't gonna look right. <laughs> Uh, and obviously, this looks like a game that's going to have expansions because you got all the. Because uh, the I like the fact that you're actually playing as different versions of the Doctor. Yes. And you're not like one per like you're arguing. I want to be the Doctor. No, I want to be the Doctor. Mm -hmm. Whereas you could have. I mean, they have all these different Doctors on the cover that aren't even in this game. Right. Um. So there's obviously there could be expansions that allow you to play other versions of the Doctor. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, because it's got everybody it's, on there. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Well, yeah, it's got it's got everybody. If, it's if got they're, everybody. They're in different places, but which yeah. is weird because like uh, like a lot of people like ten was a really popular one, and ten's mm -hmm. not in here. Nope. I find that kind of odd. Like uh, you know, so if you're talking about like which doctors you were gonna put as a highlight, but okay, so want to go from uh, one sci-fi property to another? Yes. Okay. Let us so go. Like just, yeah. just, just kind of like scoop yeah. that over there. Galloway, doctor. Hold on, you might rip the player boards. Oh no! <laughs> yeah. Grr. That is that is a supreme letdown. That, that is that yeah. That is a big letdown. But uh, let's talk about you know there's there's these uh, wars in the stars that are uh, kind of big right now. Uh, I've apparently some people are angry. It's like a movie. I'm n we're not even getting into that. Yeah. I Some know. people, I, I don't even, I, I haven't seen it yet, so I don't know why they're angry, but whatever. Like, well, I mean, the people in the movie were angry. I don't know why, though. Anyways, uh, so one of the other things we got here is I managed to get a review copy of uh, one of the most recent adventurer modules for uh, Star Wars Force and Destiny, uh, the one of the Star Wars RPG uh, by Fantasy Flight Games. This is Force and Destiny. is all about your... Uh, your force wielding, all sorts of stuff, mm -hmm. and so I let sh I read through it. I gave it to you. You did a read through it. I d yeah, I, I I will I will say I did not do I didn't like sit down and read it like a book. I did not do a deep okay. dive in it too. Yeah. I was more like a. Um, also, because there's going to be a point where I'm probably going to want to play this. Yep, there's <laughs> always that. Yep, and there's also mm. like when you get into when I read through some of these books, a lot of the nitty gritty, I skip some of the details as far as like. Here's this monster with this stat. Yep. Like I just should get an overview of like how does the adventure flow. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what I'm looking for. And also specifically, I wanted to see kind of what else is in here. So this introduces a new force power. Yep. Um, I don't know if I. It, it just seemed kind of like okay, that's a thing. Like I don't know if you would pick that versus. I feel like there are other cooler force powers. Like yeah, this introduce a force power. But it's kind of a lame force power. It it is. Um, I'd have to read uh, through. I'd have to read fully through it was, its map. It, it was putting uh, fear in, right? Yeah, it was. I mean, it was. It it's. Uh, it's the dark side Sarah's power. influence. Yeah, it's a dark side power. Yep. So I mean that that is a. Uh, the force user can project terrifying visions onto foes, forcing them to face their greatest fears. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess that's not inherently dark in itself. Yeah. Because there is, but if you uh, still like of all the force powers that you can get, it's kind of a like you're the Yellow Lantern of yeah Star Wars now. Yeah, <laughs> like I get it. It's in the world of like it's a cool power, mm -hmm. but it's one of those when you're playing an RPG and you have to focus on specific things. You know, if you're just allowed to take force powers willy nilly, sure that's a cool one. But if it's that as opposed to being able to move objects. Well, you have to spend experience on them. Yeah, you got to spend experience on them. So I think you are allowed to just grab force powers willy nilly. Well, I know, but I'm saying you're spending a, a you're spending experience yeah, on this yeah, versus improving like my force pool so that I can improving my force improving force pool or improving like uh, improving your ranged light because yeah. your lightsaber just broke itself in half. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I will say on the cover, this this girl's uh, lightsaber the is awesome. Oh yeah, it's a double bladed lightsaber that's got like a ring around it. 
Have, so have you seen any of the uh, the Star Wars Rebels I cartoon? Have not. So that is what's known as an Inquisitor's blade. Oh. Um, some of them wear it on their. I want to maybe they all wear it on their back. Okay. One of one of the people I saw, he wore it on his back. Um, it was in in the normal single blade configuration. The the circle there is folded over in half, so it's only on one side. Looks like an old. Uh, okay, so it's like a a, a scab like the hand shield kind of yeah. scabbard. Sc- like <laughs> like in the Three Musketeers, yeah, yeah, all yeah, the yeah. the French. Rapiers, yeah. Um, when they want to be completely badass, the the handguard flips open, the second blade deploys, and then the full thing can spin. Oh, that's what he was saying. It says it's they spin. Yes, that it. Um, and it actually adds a mechanic in there. It's a you can they can do it as a one a one bladed yeah. lightsaber. It's got these stats. They can do it as a dual lightsaber. It's got these stats. Oh, and when it's spinning, it then adds a couple extra stats. <laughs> and and not all those stats are benefits. Like, it becomes, I think it's it gains well, yeah, unwieldy. Well, yeah, because it's, it's going to be hard as the user to keep track of all the blades going. Yep. And it, like, you gain defensive from blaster bolts and from right. basically from melee attack stuff, but you also gain, like, the unwieldy element because right. you've got something that can slice through Durasteel spinning around in front of your face. Yep. Uh, there, speaking of some of the things I did like about it, so w- the one of the bad guys that's in here, you do have to fight her. The, like, the person that's on the cover, you have to fight her, but you fight different versions of her. Yes. Um, because the overall story in this is that basically there is a force artifact that you have here, and uh, somebody has it. This person wants it. Just Sarah mm-hmm. wants it. And basically, you have to stop her from getting this artifact back to Dahoot Meal, where she might put it with this other uh, larger group of, of forts um, artifacts and become, like, super powerful is the overall gist of kind of the thing. Yep. So you basically, you stumble upon Jacera in the beginning when she's trying to get the artifact that you, the small bit that you've kind of gotten onto. And then later, you fight her where she's now, like, fully charged up. So And they give you, like, two separate stats you looking at me weird for this is the dark crystal set in the star wars universe <laughs> <laughs> that's that's exactly what this is <laughs> that's funny that's funny uh houston in the chat room says in the cartoon they were able to fly i'm assuming you're talking about the inquisitors oh with the inquisitors uh i don't think they included that in the module no i didn't yeah. see anything about didn't, that didn't see anything about that but they don't get specific on some of the inquisitors in this model uh, right. That was the one. That was a one downside I had about this is outside of the actual adventure, and I haven't looked through some of the other uh, adventure modules as opposed. To, I guess I'm used to more of their supplement books. Uh-huh. Not a lot of outside usable information. Like right. yeah, there's a page on Dathomir and um, Tor Toydaria. Toydaria. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's it. And you could probably look. Uh, you could probably figure that stuff out from like Wikipedia or something like that. Oh yeah, like one of the one of the official canon wikis. Yeah, exactly. Has Whereas, like, as far as useful information, I mean, yeah, there's the force power, but like I said, eh, mm-hmm. take it for leave it. But unless you're gonna run, like, if you're not, you know, if you're if you're the kind of person that doesn't run your own adventure modules, you don't need this book. Hmm. There's yeah. not this book is not gonna add anything to your <laughs> game. And let me. Let me run through the. If you're wanting now, it did look like a. Re- it was. A, it seemed like a really cool, very especially if you've played the other Star Wars games and you're wanting something with some Force teeth in it and mm-hmm. be you know running around with Force powers and stuff. Because I like that there was one of the things that was in here is the artifact gives you like Force dreams. Yep, it gives you uh, visions. It gives you visions, and it even tells you like these are. It gives you like a list, and it's like here, pick a couple from these. Um, yeah. Oh, they clarified that uh, in, in in the in the show when the Inquisitor blade spin, it created lift and allowed them to oh. when they spun. Okay. Like I said, I'm not familiar probably... with Re- Rebels enough to. Yeah. It, he said it didn't look like a force power per se. Okay. Yeah, I've I've I I, I watched like all of season one and maybe a couple episodes of season two, so I probably no. haven't, I probably just haven't seen that. Okay. Um, and there are some like, and you you have to go through, um, each individual page. There are couple different vehicles uh-huh yeah like there's but nothing a, like super it, it's a couple of unique to this situation kind of vehicles yeah. which you you could port over to other right other adventures things. now the one thing i did read because i did i did start to read it like it was a full-on book um 
there are well here's the thing duh. there one I think one of the things they they recommended was don't try to run this with a team of Jedi <laughs> like don't try to do that because if you if you read you read through you um this this her background mm-hmm. is one of the inquisitors was her master right and then she killed him and then she killed that inquisitor that person. and stole the lightsaber that's how she has that lightsaber yeah. so when you're going like canonical in the eras this is right after rebels probably right during rogue one right before right episode so there aren't four full up jedi no like Luke doesn't know he's a yeah like so you can't be running around with these like, are like people you want ideally you want to play it with like people that are discovering their force powers kind of yeah thing. Gu- guys who can have weird premonitions and right. they're uncannily able to like walk into a room and very quickly duck back as someone tries to chop your face off with a sword or something which also means it integrates well with the other yeah if you don't have a full party of force users. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't. Don't think that just because there's a lot of force integration that you have to have or be playing Force and Destiny like hardcore yep. classes out of there. It, you can still definitely use the other two books, oh, yeah. uh, the, mm-hmm. the classes that are in those books. Um, but I guess the big downside I had is Dathomir plays a big role in the Star Wars universe, mm-hmm. and that there's n- like it's just kind of like a side piece in this adventure. Yeah, like I feel like. It's worthy enough that it should be a full up, like because they talk about the Night Brothers and Night Sisters, but it's like a casual mention, like yeah, the there lore should be and more. Stuff. There should be more of that lore, like in a full up source book. The, in, in a full, up, yeah, then and that could be on the way. I, the um, the two portions of the module itself take place on Dathomir. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying, but like that's that's it. Like that, as far as the coverage that they give Dathomir in this is just the fact that it. It runs part of this part of this adventure takes place on Dathomir. Okay, yeah, but I'm saying like outside of that, they only give you like just the little bit of information that you need in order to run a game on Dathomir. Mm-hmm. Whereas Dathomir is a very big force using planet um, mm-hmm. that you could go into really in depth about. Oh yeah, with the books, I was kind of let down about that. Yeah, but overall, what was your opinion of the book? Um, I I I do I. I would like to. I would like to. I don't even want to play. I want to run this. Oh. Yeah. Like this looks like a cool. <laughs> this is a very and, and that that's also because of the, uh, the Star Wars RPG system. Mm-hmm. I just I really, really enjoy the the narrative dice. The narrative dice. The six. You succeed, but. Uh, <laughs> Bad stuff's happening. Yeah. <laughs> Horrible. Yes, you pick the lock on the door and set off every alarm in within ten miles. Yep. <laughs> like, no, you didn't. You didn't set off the door, but um, no one knows you're there, so you can try again in a couple minutes. <laughs> yeah, it's I, I love that stuff about the Star Wars. If we could port that into every other RPG system ever, that would be great. <laughs> All right, D and D. Yes, Philip, your tiny gnome barbarian was not sneaky, but you still stole the guy's sword. Eh, no. <laughs> You stole the sword. He's chasing you. Yeah, but he doesn't have the sword. That's right. He doesn't have the sword. And somehow you run faster than him. Only you're only two feet tall. Yeah. We won't get into that. Now, so something I something well, since we're going off on a tangent here, Ooh. but uh, something that I did, it, it, it didn't necessarily come in in the playthroughs that I've had of the Star Wars game, mm-hmm. but they make it evident in Genesis is that when you roll the dice and the narrative dice that's got your success and failures, is no one can tell you how those dice get interpreted but you. Like, you are the final say on those dice. The GM can suggest things, uh-huh. but, like, the way the disadvantages and advantages, like, that was kind of, like, I, I would think, like, usually the, the bad stuff is is take it, but it's supposed to be is you come up with what, what is making this, and then the GM does, like, the GM does have, like, within the limit, he can veto yeah. specific things, but... It's not supposed to be a I rolled this GM tell me what I did, what happened. Okay. It's supposed to be a you tell me how you your char- how how does this benefit or hurt your character and we work that into cuz it's all about working into a story. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, see that's Now I mean for some people they may w- prefer it because they may be like I'm here to play the game. Yeah. I'm and I'm I'm playing the game. I don't want to be 
I don't love it, it's the GM's job to tell me the story. Yeah, and I will I will say but, that's that's how we play Star Wars. Like when when we do the successes, we're like, yeah, this is how the good stuff happens, and this is what we did, and it looked awesome. Everyone saw it. Yeah, that's great. But then if we fail, <laughs> the GM, yeah, it's it's that when the GM gets that look in his eye. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have that going on. Uh, he, Huso in the chat room says, uh, reminds me Dungeon World the way that I was talking about. Yeah, that's that's kind of the idea. And that may be, I think it's maybe what they're trying to do with Genesis. I imagine in the Star Wars book it doesn't mention it as much, but I think with Genesis they're trying to make it more integrated, the story, the players and the GM telling the story together kind mm-hmm. of thing. Um, that might be, because there is, that is a big trend in games nowadays, like Powered by the Apocalypse, those types of games, yep. to do that kind of GM player integration didn't, of creating the story. Didn't some RPG, was it Fate? Where it said, like, first off, you're trying to tell a story. Yeah. If fate was like that. Okay, yeah. Yep. I feel like they spelled that out. It was like the first or second sentence in the book. It's yeah. like, you're trying to tell a story. Yeah, exactly. And have fun while you're doing it. <laughs> so there we go. That is the Doctor Who Time of the Daleks board game. And Star Wars Force and Destiny, the Ghosts of Dathomir adventure module. Uh, both very, very good products. Uh, yeah, good and bad things about both, basically. Mm-hmm. Um, it's one of those, if you're a fan of one, you're going to get it. Yeah. If you're a fan of Star Wars, you're probably going to get this. If you're a fan of Doctor Who, you're probably going to get that. So there you go. And that is our stream for tonight. Uh, keep in mind that we will be doing a twenty-four or twelve-hour, not twenty-four. <laughs> no, not 24. <laughs> we are doing a twelve-hour full day stream. Oh, uh, notice that I got a follow. Oh, okay, gotcha, so. gotcha. <laughs> so thanks to hanging out in the chat room. Uh, t- on December thirty-first, we are doing a twelve-hour stream starting at uh, one p.m. Eastern time. Going to be playing games, hanging out, and uh, trying to raise money for. Uh, leukemia and lymphoma society mm-hmm. so uh, ringing in the new year with our ocd dice drop charity Woo-hoo. but uh in the meantime thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time <laughs>